hello there welcome again to this tutorial on circle theorems if you are joining us now check the description section of this video on our youtube channel to get the links to other videos on circle theorems in this video we'll be looking at cyclic quadrilateral before we go let's look at what a cyclic quadrilateral a quadrilateral is called a cyclic quadrilateral if all its vertices lie on the circumference of a circle. Let's look for this. Uh, which of the following is or are cyclic quadrilaterals? We have uh, A, B, C, and D. Let's take it a uh, diagram by diagram. We have the diagram A is only three of the vertices of this that lie on the circumference of this circle so it is not cyclic quadrilateral look at b in the same way the center here is o and the vertices that lie on the circumference are this this and this so b is out of place it is not cyclic quadrilateral we go to c the four vertices here lie on the circumference of the circle so this is a cyclic quadrilateral also in d the four vertices one two three four lie on the circumference of the circle so we conclude that c and d are cyclic quadrilaterals now we now go ahead to state the theorems we're going to look at two theorems on cyclic quadrilateral the first one opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary that is the sum of angles of opposite sides of cyclic quadrilateral gives 180 degrees b the exterior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to opposite interior angle now we are going to explain this diagrammatically in this uh, diagram this is a circle center o with a quadrilateral having its vertices on the circumference of the circle so with this we have this is opposite to this this x is opposite to y so x plus y is equal to 180 degrees also z is opposite w so we say w plus z is equal to 180 degrees all in the two cases these opposite angles of cyclic quadrilateral these are the reason we are going to give and this is the explanation of the first theorem for the second theorem we see that v is an exterior angle and it is opposite to z as interior angle so we say v is equal to z that is exterior angle of cyclic quadrilateral is equal to opposite interior angle this is the diagrammatical explanation of the two theorems now we go ahead to solve some problems so problem one in the diagram o is the center of the circle calculate the values of a b and c so from here if we want to go alphabetically um, a is immediately opposite c and the exterior angle of c is 126 degrees therefore a is equal to 126 degrees that is exterior angle of this cyclic quadrilateral is equal to opposite interior angle so we go to b b is opposite to 61 degrees so b plus 61 gives 180 degrees therefore we say b equal to 180 degrees minus 61 that is opposite angles of cyclic quadrilateral they sum up to 180 degrees from here b is equal to 119 degrees 
so we go to c so from c here it is either we say a plus c equal to 180 degrees or we just look at angles on a straight line with 126 degrees so in any case we get the same value for c so we say 180 degrees minus 126 degrees angles on a straight line so we are using the angles on a straight line and that will give us 54 degrees that's the end of solution to problem one we go to problem two for problem two in the diagram o is the center of the circle calculate the values of i j and k so from here again we immediately see this as cyclic quadrilateral therefore we say i is equal to 180 degrees minus 56 degrees that is opposite angles of cyclic quadrilateral which gives 124 degrees for j i have j equal to in this j is connected to this this is out of the theorem under review this is the theorem we have already explained in the past this is angle at the center this is the corresponding angle at the circumference so j will be 56 times 2. the reason is angle at center is twice angle at the circumference this will give 112 degrees so we go for k k is connected to i with respect to angle at center and the corresponding angle at the circumference so we say k is equal to 124 degrees times 2 that is angle at center is twice angle at the circumference this gives 248 degrees so we go ahead again to solve problem 3 for problem 3 calculate the values of w x and y in the diagram below so here we have a, another cyclic quadrilateral and we immediately look at x so here x is equal to 180 degrees minus 63 degrees that is opposite angle of cyclic quadrilateral and that will give us 117 degrees so from here again we can immediately see that y is connected to 78 degrees so we say y equal to 78 degrees that is exterior angle of cyclic quadrilateral so from here we can find w w will be sum of angles in a triangle this this and this that will give us 180 minus 63 degrees then minus 78 degrees angles of a triangle and that will give us 39 degrees so we have done justice to problem three we go to problem four for problem four in the diagram a b c and d are points on the circle b c d b c d is 77 degrees and b r d b r d is 118 degrees calculate a b r we are to calculate a b r this is the angle here we are to calculate and from here we look at triangle a r b if you look at triangle a r b we need to get this angle and if you get this angle we can connect these two angles to this exterior angle of a triangle wow so let's see how we can get this wow this is exactly quadrilateral so that's to say angle b a d b a d is 180 degrees minus 77 degrees the reason being opposite angles of cyclic quadrilateral so that will now have it as 103 degrees so from here we can calculate a b r so a b r will be 
118 degrees minus 77 degrees since this plus this we sum up to this so to get any of this it is this minus that so that will give us opposite exterior angle of a triangle is equal to sum of the interior angles that will now give us 41 degrees and that's the end of solution to problem four so we go to problem five for problem five this is a complex diagram we have to find angles p and q in the diagram below so we have to study the diagram carefully so now we start the solution from p find the value of p to get the value of p here are they, is it connected to this that in the same segment what is the base side this is the base side and the triangle containing p is this so it has the same base with the triangle containing uh, 85 degrees therefore p is equal to 85 degrees that is angles in the same segment so we are done with that we have gotten p now to calculate q to calculate q um, we need to find this if you find this and this we'll be able to find q yes let's look at this and this let's look at this quadrilateral it's a cyclic quadrilateral it has its four vertices on the circumference of this circle therefore we can say angle qpt is equal to 180 degrees minus 85 degrees that is cyclic quadrilateral opposite angles of cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary so we have it as 95 degrees so we are done with uh, that then we now look at this what is the function of these parallel lines these parallel lines so this is the transversal wow we can get this angle here that is angle pqt is equal to this angle that is alternate angles so are uh, equal so we have it as 41 the reason being alternate uh, angles so we are done with that then we've gotten this we've gotten this so considering this triangle pqt we can see that q is equal to 180 degrees minus this angle which is 95 degrees minus this angle which is 41 degrees that is sum of angles of a triangle that's the reason for that and q is equal to 44 degrees so we have done justice to problem five and this is the highest we can take for this uh, theorem check the description section of this video on our youtube channel to get our next video on cyclic quadrilateral and the previous videos until we come your way again goodbye